Abu Ali Al Hassan Ibn Al Hassan Ibn Al Haytham, we're going to call him Al Hassan, was a very smart guy who lived about a thousand years ago. And we know that Al Hassan was the father of the modern scientific method. We're going to be learning more about that. But today we're going to do one of his experiments. And in this experiment, he was able to prove that light traveled in straight lines. Now he did this in a room, a darkened room. We're going to simplify that. We're going to downscale that into a little box so that we can carry this out at home. Okay, so the experiment he did was one in which he stood in a darkened room with a small hole in one wall. And outside the room, he hung two lanterns at different heights. And he observed that the light from each lantern illuminated a different spot in the room. And he also noted that each spot made a direct line through the hole to its source. Further, he found that covering the lantern caused the spot lit up to darken and exposing the lantern caused the spot to reappear. So by doing this, Al Hazan proved that light does not come from the human eye, but in fact is emitted by certain objects like lanterns or torches and travels from these objects in straight lines. Right, so obviously we're not going to do Al Hazan's full experiment, or you might like to try that by yourself, but because we're working at home and in different places and some people at school, we're going to downscale it. So we're going to build ourselves a small box. For this experiment, you're going to need two torches. Um, preferably torches with a single lens. Some of the LED torches have got arrays of four or six or just many lenses in them. Um, if you use one of those torches, it's not going to quite work well. Unless you get some tape and tape it up, that might help. You can certainly use your iPad. It's got a torch on it. Um, that'd be great. It's got a single lens. And you're going to need to find another one somewhere. Um, you're going to need one piece of A3 paper. And if you don't have that, just sticky tape two pieces of A4 paper together and we'll fold that to make a box. A pair of scissors, a sharp pencil or a skewer, um, glue, tape or stapler. I just use sticky tape. Right, um, method is to cut and fold the template to make a box that is open on two sides. Using a sharp pencil, pierce one hole of the side of the box, close the blinds, turn off the lights, make it as dark as you can. Um, hold the two torches at different heights, you're going to have to use your two hands. Shine the light through the holes. Observe and record what you notice. Then move the torches around and observe and record what happens to the spots on the opposite side of the box. After you've done all that, pierce the second small hole at the same level and approximately five centimeters to the side, right or left of the original hole and repeat steps four to six, observing what you see. Guys, today is your chance to be really good scientists. So I want you to spend some time um, writing up this experiment what it's going to look like, what your hypothesis is, what you think is going to happen, and then recording your results, including with diagrams. Um, hopefully all of us have got the hypothesis that we think light travels in straight lines, and that's what we're trying to prove, right? Right, so I didn't have any A3 paper, so I just taped together two pieces of A4. Holding your paper in a landscape orientation, um, fold the top third down and make a sharp crease. Just open it up and do the same to each side, folding in about a third of the way and making a sharp crease. It doesn't have to be exact, we're just getting rough lines here. I marked the lines where I wanted you to cut out. You don't have to do this, um, you can just cut out those two lines. Right, we're going to fold up the sides and fold up the back and tape them together to make a box which is open at the front and open on top. Next, with a sharp pencil or a skewer, make a small hole on one side. All right, and that's it. You're ready to start. So turn the lights off, shut the curtains, make the room as dark as you can and get your torch ready. Don't forget to be a scientist. You need to make observations, you need to do diagrams of what you see, and you need to write um, labels and annotations to explain what it is that you're seeing. Once you've done both torches, you can grab the pencil or the skewer again um, and make the second hole and repeat steps four to six. 
Again, making sure you're using your powers of observation to see what's going on. And that's it. Please don't forget to do a good write-up with good diagrams. Um, follow that scientific method. So we've made observations, asked questions, made a hypothesis, we've done our experiment. Now we're drawing conclusions and reporting um, what we saw and, and whether our hypothesis was proved or not. Good luck with that.